Good morning, good peoples. This is Stone Stanza coming at you. John Authorized Delivery LLC. Uh, just wanted to discuss brokers, carriers and brokers. The honesty of brokers and the dishonesty of some brokers. And as I came to the conclusion, it should lead each one to do their business flawless. And what I mean by that is I just got off, I finished the job, Ringtown, Pennsylvania, last Monday. It was 13 stops before I got my paperwork. There's only eight stops. Some of them were canceled. Now, it, it was paying good money. Now, you had to go in a distance, parameter distance of 100 miles in those 8 to 13 stops. So, basically, I completed it. I handed all my BOLs. There was receipts with it, but the customers only signed the BOLs. Next day, the broker says she needs the receipts. I send those. Um... I just got off the phone with the broker again because Friday she told me to stop calling her. Texting that she sent all the paperwork. So then basically I got off the phone with the accounting department wondering how come my pay didn't go into my um, my pay didn't go into my bank account. So basically um, I get off the phone with her and I explain that this honesty and how I was still patient and how this isn't true business communication. And what I mean by that is they put 80 miles to 100 miles for 13 stops in a radius. That wasn't true. Just for one of my stops to Bloomberg, Pennsylvania to another one was 200. And I still had seven more to go. I ended up doing about 400 miles. Then they told me if I could complete if I couldn't complete it Friday, complete it Saturday. Home Depot and Walmart says your broker should have known shipping and receiving is closed on a weekend. So then now I have to take the load back to Jersey and bring it back. It wasn't worth it because of the miscommunication. And some of these brokers are telling you anything just to get the money. So as I'm explaining to the broker. She says, let's move forward. I said, yes, life moves forward, but let's go back. You can't always go forward and X that out. You have to realize what you did. You can't false advertise. Just as drivers and carriers, we have to go by rules and regulations. Brokers too, and I brokers do too, and I explained to her what she's doing is not only false advertisement, it's going against the policy company she works for. Not only that, she can use her broker license. You know, so then, then basically she tells me Friday, I explained to her, you t- said you told me to stop texting you or calling you. Now you got me nervous of calling you because you sent all the paperwork. The paperwork, I had to remind over and over. The paperwork, I'm going by her words. The paperwork was all sent out Friday. Home Depot, we have all the checking numbers. Stop texting my team. Come to find out she didn't handle it. So as I put in a complaint, and I per- the person I put the complaint with, I told them that, this is professional. It's supposed to be on a professional level. It gets kind of not only distracting, but discouraging when you're waiting for your pay. You know, I'm just starting out my business three or four months and you're waiting for your pay. And I went through this last time and I had to wait about a month to get my pay till something else, you know, till it all worked out. So I just got a text just now saying that a computer was open. They handled it. She said this Friday. Now we're going to see later on. I'm going to call back in a couple hours. But I'm starting to realize, even when you go on the DAT board, be smart about your decisions. I'm starting to see some of these brokers, even TQL, a lot of them, they are not putting their prices down, which is good, but it's not good. 
They're underbidding. They're hoping for new authorities so they can get over. Um, I know everybody has to get their money, but everything should be professional. And I'm going to leave it as that. I'm not here to down nobody. I'm not here to pick at nobody's cars, but in your decisions, make the, make sure our decisions are wise. The brokers aren't dishonest. Our brokers are dishonest also. So it's showing me more and more. I tried to stay in the Northeast where I'm at because it seemed like it was more money. But sometimes you might drive 200 miles and get six or 700, but then you might have to wait the next day. So then it might be something going more mileages but paying you more, you know, so it's kind of tricky. Then, you know, you stand on the road, you eat, that's how you're going to get your real money, you know, so I'm starting to see that. So more and more, I'm going to go back to the road. I'm going to stop messing with Amazon Relay till peak season. Too many cancel loads also, but watch out for these brokers and make the right decisions. This is John Authorized Delivery, LLC. Stone stands are coming at you. I'm in Ohio right now, waiting for about seven, six hours to drop my load off, and then we'll see then. I might get an Amazon load. I don't see nothing on there, or I might have to wait till the next morning to get a good load. But take your time out there in the world, and as I'm learning, I have open ears to hear. And with that, may each exit be a blessing in your life. Stone stands are coming at you. Transportation world. Peace.